Hi everyone! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mercy and if you are new here, welcome! I am new too and if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back and watching another one of my videos and helping support what I am learning I enjoy doing. So today I have another Bath and Body Works video for you. Um, the month of March uh, includes my birthday. My birthday was just a few days ago. So what I would like to do is kind of just share with you all the goodies that I got for my birthday. Um, a lot of stuff I just got on sales. Um, and I had a ton of like free coupons for uh, free items. So I do have a good bit of like items that I got for free um, just based off of reward points. So with that being said, let's get started. Oh, by the way, not sure if you've noticed from my last video, but I have dyed my hair um, a nice, pretty um, pink balayage kind of look. Um, it's kind of hard to see on camera, but it's super pretty. Something I've never done before. I've always kind of done natural and just red, so the fact that my hair has a little bit of color to it now um, is a lot of fun. In the sunlight, it looks uh, absolutely amazing. So you might see, like, this one is really bright. Um, but yeah! I have hair that is colored. <laughs> I don't remember what order I got any of these in. So this is probably going to be a really cool, fun video. I'm trying to remember what I got on what what I got on what shopping experience. But we're just kind of going to go through everything. So at the beginning of the month, my store, my local store that I go to, is a candle scent test store. And so we got some candles in that were not supposed to come out till later this month. Um, I think these actually came out last week. And it's part of the spring and like spring three and Mother's Day collection. So the first one I got was Pink Peach Blossom. And the scent notes on this one is Peach Nectar, Magnolia Petals, and Sweet Mandarin. And this one does have a very, very sweet scent. I really like it. I'm not a big fan of the peach smell in this one, but I really do like the Magnolia Petals in this one. It's a fresh, free, floral <laughs> scent, and I, I like it a lot. Now, I have been melting my candles with, like, an overhead um, candle warmer. I don't really like to burn my candles because I have really bad asthma, and it just kind of hurts my, my, my chest when we're burning candles. And I don't like to use my inhaler as much as I can avoid it. So, yeah. I have been burning this one a lot. I really love this one. It's really nice. So, if you still have it in your stores, I highly recommend picking this one up if you like the fruity um, floral scents. And the other one that I got is one of my favorite scents, and I was so happy that it was coming out in body care, and we'll talk about that in a little bit, but, whoopsies, is the Iced Lemon Pound Cake, and this one literally smells exactly like a lemon cake would taste. And so the notes on here are sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, fluffy pound cake, and whipped cream. Mmm, it smells so good. Again, I don't um, burn my candles, I melt them. Um, at least I'm trying to now. But this one, if you really like gourmet scents and you like something sweet and tasty smelling in your house, I highly recommend picking this one up. It's a good one. Also on that day, um, I picked up a couple like minis because I had some free mini coupons. So I got Tutti Fruity Candy. And I should have prepared for this video. I don't remember what the scent notes on this one are. I know it's like jelly bean and marshmallow, I think. Either way, it's a very candy smelling uh, scent. I should I should have done my research. I'm sorry, but yeah, it's like really like the like jelly bean smell. I really like this one. Um, so I know some of the stores still have it. I know my store still has this one in stock. Um, this one is an online exclusive for the full size. So if you're looking for a full size, I highly recommend going online. But if you just want to pick up your travel size, I highly recommend going and checking your stores. They should, probably will be out of stock soon since Easter is in a couple days, but it's a really nice, light, candy-type scent, and I really like it. <laughs> the other one I got was Daffodil Daydreams. Again, I didn't do my research before this one, um, so we'll just go blindly at this. This one has marshmallow, I think. It's definitely daffodil or something, some type of flower. Again, a really nice, light scent. I think this one does have the marshmallow. I don't think the Tutti Frutti candy does. But it's very nice. It's very um, soft and like not a strong fragrance. It's very good for springtime. Yeah, I like it. 
I don't think I would wear it all the time. I think it's a little too sweet for me, but I do kind of like this scent. I got it obviously so I can have it in my collection and it has a bunny. Bunnies are my favorite animal aside from cats. Very select stores were doing full size body of daffodil daydreams. So if your store had it, highly recommend picking it up because you are lucky. My store only had the travel size. So yeah. And the last thing on that visit that I got, it was on the moisturizer um, like sale, the $4.95 moisturizer sale. And body butters were on sale for $4.95, which these never go on sale. So I picked up a couple of those. So the first one I got was Champagne Toast. And um, this one's for me. It's very mm, candy-like. I really like Champagne Toast. It's one of my favorite scents. Uh, the scent notes on it are sh bubbly champagne, sparkly berries, and juicy tangerine. Um, I like to put this on the back side of my arms. It makes the skin just very, very moisturized. And um, it's just better, in my opinion, than like the, uh, the body creams. I do use the body creams mainly on my legs. I just feel like it's too much for my legs because I'm always walking around and doing stuff. But I think it's really perfect for just the back side of my arms. Um, so, yeah. The next one I got was the Sensitive Skin um, Body Shea, Body Butter, whatever you want to call it. Um, this one I've been using kind of strictly um, for the past month. As you can see, I've kind of made a good bit of dent in there. Uh, and this one has oatmeal in it, which I really like. And it's really good for like my eczema and my like, I, I know a lot of people call it chicken skin. You can't really see it right now, but it gets really, really bad during the winter time. And we've been having some crazy weather where it's like really warm one day and then really cold the next day. Like today I woke up and it was 38 degrees outside. Um, so having something that's going to be extra moisturizing for my dry skin is really nice. So I really like the um, sensitive skin uh, body butter. And the last one I got on that day was the Breathe Deep Eucalyptus and Lavender body butter. Now this one, it smells really, really nice. Oh, that eucalyptus is so pleasant. Um, but I actually got this one for my friend. She really likes eucalyptus and she does like shea butter um, a lot. So I got this for her um, for later in the year. My next visit, I went with my neighbor. My neighbor and I actually shop a lot together. And um, this is when they were actually previewing Brightest Bloom. And this one is really, really nice. I really like the scent notes on this one. And this one's scent notes is Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. And this one is a very nice fresh floral. Like, I really do love the fresh floral scent. And I'm spraying it away from my arm like a ding dong. Oh, I really like this scent. It doesn't really give me, like, old lady vibes or anything like that. It really does give me fresh floral. Um, that woodsy note really does come out more on the dry down in my opinion and I really do like that as well so if you like a good fresh floral with a slight woodsy note I highly recommend going and seeing if you like this one because it, it is really nice I like it some of the youtubers that I watch were talking about all the new collections that were coming out in their stores actually releasing early um so a lot of people were getting the 10 fine fragrances that are supposed to be mimicking really high-end fragrance um like perfumes. And so I went on the hunt. Also, a lot of stores were already releasing the Ice Lemon Pound Cake, and I desperately wanted it because I had so many rewards for free items. I knew they would meet that so I could get the whole collection for free, um, and I struggled to find it. So what I did find was the minis in the Ice Lemon Pound Cake. Um, so this was like about two weeks ago that I went with my neighbor, and we went out shopping, and we found the minis and the scent notes on the ice lemon pound cake is sugary glazed icing pure lemon zest and fluffy pound cake so we're missing the whipped cream that is in the candle um that's not in the body care so i find that very interesting that they wouldn't add whipped cream um to the list of scent notes on um the body care i thought that was really interesting they just smell pretty similar to me i think this one just has a little bit more lemon to it one thing I will say, I am not fond of the um, packaging this year. I think the packaging is very juvenile, um, and I don't really care for it. It's kind of lackluster. It doesn't really pop out to me and scream to me as, like, a nice, um, like, packaging at all. I don't, I don't care for it. I liked last year's packaging better, and I'll get to that in a little bit. But, yeah, I got the minis, which was nice. <laughs> And then also on that trip, my friend or my neighbor and I, we also got some pocket backs 
and I'm missing one because I think it's my purse downstairs so I'm not gonna go run down there and grab it just for this video but I did get brightest bloom I also got ice lemon pound cake so did my neighbor because it is such a wonderful scent I got pink peach blossom because it also is a wonderful scent I got endless weekend which is really nice um this is one of my go-to scents so having it, ooh, I love that coconut. It smells just like summertime and happiness, and I love Endless Weekend. Um, so I had to get that one in a pocket back. And the last one I got um, was Mahogany Coconut. Ooh, I love the Mahogany Coconut. Again, it's like a woodsy, fruity smell. Love it. After that, I did wait until all the releases on the 25th, which had the Bridgerton release, the 10 Fine Fragrance release, um, Dressed in White, and Lemon Pound Cake. Ice Lemon Pound Cake was finally released. So I have a ton more I need to go through here. So starting first is going to be the Bridgerton collection. This is the only thing I got from the collection because I'm actually not a fan of this scent. I did go and smell the candles, but candles were not on sale the day that I went. I will be going back probably for Danbury Shortcake and Queen Charlotte's Tea. Those two were really nice and I um, really like the packaging. If I had to pick just one, I'm going to be getting Danbury Shortcake because it's pink and it matches my lifestyle. <laughs> for this Bridgerton collection, the um, body care is called Diamond of the Season and the fragrant notes here are Sparkling Peach, Spring Daffodil, and Radiant Jasmine. Now, I'm having a weird time with the body care for Bath and Body Works, the peach scents. I just feel like they're a complete miss. And this is one of them. And this is definitely like an older, like oldie time smell. It's not like something we see on the shelves now. It's very regal, very light. It's very like fruity floral, which I normally like. But there's one note in here, and I think I really do think it's the peach that I don't love. I like it. I probably will wear it, but I don't think I would wear it all the time. I don't think this is going to be a staple in my collection. So, but the bottle is absolutely gorgeous. It's got this beautiful um, textured cap and the fact that it's Bridgerton. I love Bridgerton. I just got my boyfriend to watch both season one and two with me. So when season three comes out, we're watching that together. So if you haven't picked up Bridgerton, highly recommend. I did go in and smell all 10 of the new fine fragrance mists that are not in body care at all, just the fine fragrance mists that are supposed to be mimicking really high-end perfumes, and I'm actually really disappointed. I did not like really any of them. Um, I kind of liked Viva Vanilla, but I'm not a big vanilla fan of like just straight vanilla, um, but that was the only other one that I kind of liked that I might go back and pick up if the prices go down, but the only one I paid full price for was Lost in Santel. It is really nice. The fact that they were all these like really like not pastel, but like see-through bottles, it was an absolutely gorgeous um, display. So I think that was a really good marketing um, play there. I am confused why it got released in um, spring though. I feel like if they had waited till June when we have the Pride Month to release these, it would have been a bigger hit because it is a rainbow collection. However, nonetheless, I am happy that they're here. Everyone seems to be loving a lot of the scents and a lot of how they're dupes of very expensive brands. So the fragrant notes on Lost in Santel is warm catamon, satin sandalwood, and cedarwood. And I don't know what it is that this smells like, but it smells like an old perfume or fine fragrance mist that I've had in the past. I can't put my finger on it. I don't know what it is. I'm thinking it might have been Twilight Woods, maybe? I'll have to find the fragrant notes on Twilight Woods. But I really, really like Lost in Santel. It's a very um, gender neutral smell. Like my boyfriend said, hey, I probably would wear that. I'm fine with him wearing it. It smells very, very nice. It's very woodsy. I really like it. Um, so if you like woodsy scents and not like really, really strong woodsy ones, because I know like Mahogany Teakwood, it can be kind of intense. I highly recommend going and smelling Lost in Santel because I think this is a very gender neutral um, scent and I really like it. it. Again, it was the only one I like was absolutely like I have to have this one in my collection. And then I know I keep talking about this over and over. The next piece that I got for free because I had so many rewards I was holding out for my birthday is the Iced Lemon Pound Cake Collection. Again, I am not a fan of this packaging, but I had to get this. So I was really, really happy. Um, I finally got my hands on it and it was finally in stock in my store. 
Um, and I'm just double checking the fragrance notes. Yep, still sugary glazed icing, pure lemon zest, and fluffy pound cake. Um, something I've noticed too is some of the they started adding the fragrance notes to some bottles, and we'll talk about this one in a minute. They started adding the fragrance notes to some bottles, but not all bottles. So I think that's very interesting when it comes to the um, shower, or sorry, body wash. Um, we'll talk about this one in a second though. Last year, the Ice Lemon Pound Cake had this really bright yellow design, but I feel like this was so much nicer than this. I don't like this. I think this is very juvenile. I think this one's a little bit more fun. This is the only thing I have left from last year. Um, as you can see, it's it's almost out. But I just really like this packaging better. I think they could have gone with a... Mo I think this yellow would have been nicer. I think this yellow is very, very soft and like it looks closer to what Lemon Pound Cake is. Um, and maybe do like accents of this yellow, but I feel like going back to like an actual cake because when I think of lemon pound cake I'm not thinking of a cupcake. This reminds me of banana and I'm not gonna lie when I first saw these pictures of the ice lemon pound cake um, Packaging I, I thought it was banana um, So I do think this is a little off-putting because I don't get ice lemon pound cake from looking at this packaging I get banana and lemon like banana banana muffins banana nut muffins that's what i'm getting getting here so i just think that this is a complete miss when it comes to packaging but nonetheless happy to have it it's one of my favorite scents i got told i smelled so good every day i came in and that i made everyone want ice lemon pound cake last year so um if you like a good sweet gourmet scent i highly recommend going and getting the collection before it's gone so i did go and get dressed in white the new um bridal collection i did smell at first sight not a big fan of it um i think my boyfriend would like it better than me which of course it'd be made for him anyway um i don't think i'm going to be getting the perfume i normally buy fine fragrance mist because they are cheaper and my pocket appreciates that um so yeah so the scent notes on this one and look how actually before i go into that look how gorgeous this bottle is it is so pretty. It's absolutely gorgeous. I mean, even this, this is absolutely gorgeous. It, it, I love the flowers. I love like the little like petals everywhere. And then we have this, this blue. <laughs> and then we just have this blue. And it has a little bit of like the, the flowers in the label. But I did find that interesting that these, these complement each other. And then this is like in the family, but off yonder. But anywho, um, so the fragrant notes on this one is Pear Blossoms, Ivory Gardenia, and Satin Woods. Another woodsy floral. And this one is much, much more airy and much more floral scent. It's not, that woodsy note is very, very, the Satin Woods is very faint. You really do get that like pear blossom smell and I really, really like this scent. I probably will be mixing, not mixing, like wearing on top of each other, but like rotating um, da um, denim and daisies and then dressed in white in the coming months um, because I do really like both these scents. And this, this kind of reminds me of this with that airy powdery smell. Um, so yeah, if you haven't gotten this yet or gone to smell it, highly recommend going. I really like this. I think any upcoming bride who wants a nice fragrance for their, their wedding, I think this would go really, really well. Really like this, really love the packaging. I think this is absolutely beautiful and highly recommend getting it. And then I also got a couple of pocket backs because I had to, I know I talked about it a little bit earlier, but I did get the Bridgerton um, Denberry Shortcake and the Bridgerton um, Queen Charlotte's Tea. But this one is like almond, buttery shortcake. Like it smells like a shortcake. It, uh, if you ever buy Girl Scout cookies and get the trefuls, that's what this smells like. It literally smells like a trefoil. It smells delicious. I love it. I want it in a candle. And then Queen Charlotte's tea. I mean, it smells like I just got it on my nose. <laughs> I mean, it smells like tea. Um, I drink tea all the time. Probably not the British way. Um, it's not my favorite. Definitely out of the two scents, I like the shortcake more than I like the tea. My neighbor liked the tea a little bit better, but it's nice. It's not terrible. I do like it. I think I do want it in a candle. And then the last pocket back I got was the Dressed in White because it did smell really, really nice. I also got the Bridgerton B pocket back holder so I can sit here and hold my Danbury shortcake. It's super cute. It's got a little B for Bridgerton. 
Um, it does come with a cute little like Bridgerton um, label. So it's super, super cute. And on top of that, this was only um, $7.95. So it was a pretty decent price for metal. Um, but yeah, highly recommend going and looking at all the Bridgerton pocket bags. This is the one that stood out the most to me. I don't really like the um, the silicone ones. I feel like they gather dust and dirt and dander really, really easily. So I don't really like that. Um, but this will be going on my purse and I love it. It's so cute. I love Bridgerton. Bridgerton's so cool. <sighs> so my final haul it's almost done. <laughs> so I also did get um, the Varitist Bloom Collection um, with some rewards points. I ended up getting this one for free and then um, paying out of pocket for these two, which is fine. I don't mind. Um, I think I ended up getting um, buy three, get one free. But this one, the fragrance notes, just to remind you, are um, Lily of the Valley, Jasmine Sandback, Garden Carnations, and Fresh Cedarwood. Now, I will say, I really love the fragrance. It's very light, it's fresh, it's very light, it's very fresh. It's a, it's a nice, very, very nice fragrance. I'm wearing it now, I've been wearing it for the past few days. I had kind of scrapped my um, rotation and was like, no, I wanna wear this for my birthday because my birthday was just a couple of days ago. And I really like it, however. I don't know what it is about the body cream. The body cream is a complete miss for me and it does not smell like the perfume. It does not smell like the shower gel. It does not sm smell like the fragrance mist. Um, I, it gives me too much grassy smell to me. I don't, it does not smell like the rest of this. Maybe I just got a bad batch. I don't know. But the, the body cream is an absolute miss for me and I'm kind of frustrated with it. Um, I'm going to keep trying it to like match it with obviously the rest of the products, but I am upset because I feel like this does not match the scents. <sighs> okay, so that was all that I paid for and got with my um, Bath and Body Works stuff this month. Again, my birthday was just a few days ago, so I did want to show off a few of the gifts that I got for my birthday so far, and I realize one is downstairs, but I'll have to show that another time. But I did go to work on my birthday, and my wonderful, wonderful co-workers, they're all in different teams, um, they did get me the Brightest Bloom perfume, which I personally would not have bought myself, but look how absolutely gorgeous this is! I love the design, I love the textured feel, you have this cute little leaf, and then on the inside is a green stem, and it really looks like it's just a flower protruding from the bottle. It's absolutely gorgeous, it smells amazing, and I already sprayed it on me, so I'm not going to spray it again, but oh, it is absolutely gorgeous, so I am very, very thankful for my friends um, for getting that for me. They totally didn't have to spend that much on me, and I greatly appreciate it. This is my first real perfume bottle. Thank you so much for that, my two, my three friends that put that together. They also got me some nice little face masks, which um, I'm really excited about. I really like doing face masks, but yeah, I really love uh, just care and taking care of myself. They also got me some EOS um, chapsticks. I left one on my desk at work, but these are like the tropical um, ones. I can't remember. I think this one's strawberry pink lemonade. Smells like it. I think this one was fruit punch. Yep. I think the one I left at work is like pineapple something. And then this one's like something coconut. Yeah. So I got some of those because my lips are always chapped. I also got this cute little candle. Um, not a Bath and Body Works one, don't know where this one comes from, but it is lavender and it kind of has like a musky smell to it. I don't know, I like it. I think it'd be really good for when I'm cooking dinner, um, just having a candle lit. I think that would be great. So that's what I got from my work friends. Oh, and some like candy and like a gift card. Um, but yeah, they're really great. I, I have wonderful friends at work and I am so thankful for them. Um, absolutely wonderful gift and thank you for that. The next thing I got for my birthday was from my neighbors, who are also my best friends. Um, so one thing I kept um, asking for was a like pink stuffed bunny. And one of our friends is like obsessed, and I mean obsessed with Squishmallows. I mean, she got us all like these like little mini squishes for Valentine's Day. I was like, I really want a mini pink bunny because bunnies are my favorite animal. And I couldn't find one and I ended up just giving up. And so for my birthday, I got this cute little guy. He's a little keychain. So this is 
bop. And I'm so excited to have this cute little squishy bunny. Um, and what really is funny is I'm trying to learn how to paint my nails. I'm not very good at it. Um, still learning, but we're, we're, we're working with it. We're going to paint it after this video. Um, but here's a little bop and here's his, um, what it says inside. It says bop is the queen of nail design. She's so talented. Everyone in bop's family asks her to paint and paint their nails. Bop is known for her pastel stripe and spotted Easter egg pattern. And do you want a fancy manicure too? It's just really funny because it's a pink bunny. I'm learning to paint my nails. Her thing is about painting nails. It, it was just the cutest little thing. So I got a cute little bunny. Of course, like I said, I'm trying to learn how to paint my nails. So my friend got me the Hollow Taco um, nail art set. There's also a um, uh, one in here for like cleaning up your nails. So while you're painting, if you make any mistakes. And then I have three, or I'm sorry, I can't count, four um design brushes so really excited to use those i don't actually own any hollow taco polishes yet um i mainly have moon cat um which is very similar to hollow taco if you haven't gotten any or you don't know about hollow taco hollow taco is a um 10 free nail polish company meaning that it has 10 it's free of the 10 most common chemicals known to cause harm and um taco meaning like you layer everything on a taco so you layer your nail polish <laughs> so cute um but yeah highly recommend going to check them out my neighbor is obsessed with hollow taco i really like them i've used some of their nail polishes from her um and yeah go check them out guys they have a really cool nail polish and then last but certainly not least of my birthday presents that i got was this ilnp pink suede nail polish not to get confused with pink suede which we don't like this one's nail polish. It's super, super pretty. And the best part is, is this is a, I think what they call the, your, their velvet. I think this is part of their velvet collection, but what's really cool is it is magnetic. So as you can see, there we go. See? <laughs> Which I think is so cool and so fun. Um, nail polish is fun. I'm still learning, of course, but it is a lot of fun. Highly recommend um, going and checking out their brand. And if you've never heard of Mooncat, Mooncat is another nail polish company that does some like wackadoodle um, polishes. They don't really call it polish, it's nail art. Um, this one's one of my favorites, it's called Not Today Satan. Um, and I put the, I, I ripped this off the box and put it back on the bottle just to make it easier. But it's like super holographic and it looks absolutely different from inside versus outside in the sunlight. So highly recommend checking those out. Um, I-L-N-P and then also Hollow Taco. Thank you all for watching my video today. If you enjoyed this, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to my channel so I can continue doing the content that I've been doing so far. Hopefully in the future I can do more of these um, videos, maybe show off my candle collection, my nail polish collection, um, maybe do some shop with me videos if they allow it. Past few times I've tried to do it, it's just been so busy. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Tell me what you enjoyed from the uh, the Bridgerton collection. Did you like this scent? And then also tell me how you feel about the new 10 Fragrance Mist that just came out. Which one was your favorite? Which one was your least favorite? Post Edit Mercy here. Just wanted to let you know that I did order from Dirty Soul Soap Company last month. I did get confirmation this week that my order has shipped. So hopefully I will get those soon. If you don't know, Dirty Soul Soap Company is a company that does dupes of popular body care in the market like Sol de Janeiro and Bath and Body Works. So I do have a few items coming from there. So once I get that, I will be reviewing those. Anyways, again, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And if you are celebrating birthdays like I am on Easter, have a great one and happy Easter, everyone. Thank you.